frankly, if there's one thing I'm, I'm afraid of, perhaps, is that uh, I might, uh, can, I, can I say this? I might uh, not be able to seize the moment and really um, appreciate the, the, the importance and the, you know, the extraordinary aspect of the experience up there. Astronaut David Saint-Jacques is about to become the 10th Canadian to travel into space. Saint-Jacques is scheduled to leave Monday for the International Space Station, his first ever space voyage. The 48-year-old has been training intensely for more than two years. The most critical part of the mission just getting to the space station. Over the last two and a half years of training, about half of it was dedicated solely to my role as the co-pilot of the Soyuz rocket. So those 10 minutes, basically, the launch to space station and the six hours that follow until we dock are probably the most dangerous part of the entire mission, and that's why we devote the most uh, training to it. Saint-Jacques will spend six months on the International Space Station. That's the longest stay ever by a Canadian. Once there, the Quebec City native will conduct scientific and medical experiments. Speaking from the launch site in Kazakhstan, where he's in quarantine until Monday, Saint-Jacques says it's an honor to follow in the footsteps of former Canadian astronauts. I always felt like I was slipping into big shoes. Um, with the likes of Julie Payette and Chris Satil and Marc Garneau and Dave Williams and Bob Thirsch and all those people that flew before us in space. And the first thing that struck me is uh, the incredible rep reputation Canada has in the space program around the world. Uh, it's, it's very touching almost, I'd say, to, to realize how well respected Canada has become in the, space, in the field of uh, space exploration. Saint-Jacques is expected to come back home next June. In Montreal, Tina Tenere-Yellow, City News.